black people mad, man, because Drake put post the pictures of his family. Listen to some of these hateful remarks from these black people. Look how hateful and racist black people are, man. Look how hateful and racist black people are, man. Openly racist, man. Openly hateful, man. So this is his family. This is his son. This is his baby mother. And this is her family. And he's biracial. Look at this, man. Let's look at these black people. Now, these black people will cut you out if you said something about Drake before this fucking picture came out. As if they didn't know his, his baby mother was white, as if they didn't know his mother's white. All these black people know his baby mother's white. They all know his mother is white. But because he posts a picture of his mom and hurt the the, the 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 white girl side of the family and his kid now all of a sudden now all of a sudden they acting like they just found out this one says after saying the word nigga all day come home to whitey peace Whole family white as heck. Yeah, except for his dad. I mean, his dad's black, but if you're black, nothing for you. But if you're white, there's something for you. Now, this dude done went around on God's plan. Remember that God's plan shit he had where he was giving away money to fucking random people? He was giving, he gave a bunch of money away to unique roles, man. Why isn't he wearing his hair clips and gold fronts? Because he's around white people. Why would he wear hair clips and gold fronts around a bunch of white people? Now, he might wear some, like, chains or, I don't know, whatever. Whatever black, white people. He, he's around white people. Why the fuck? They said his son isn't allowed to say the N-word. <laughs> yeah, his son do look like a white boy. This man is really cosplaying black and eating our culture alive. He's cosplaying black and eating our culture alive. He's cosplaying black and eating our culture alive. Really? Right? You said Drake contributes to sun violence culture in Toronto. Well, I mean, he's just giving, he's just trying to fit in with some people. I don't think he's, I don't think he's doing anything wrong. He's trying to fit in with some people. He's the same person he's always been. I don't know why black people do this. They always act like, like somebody just fell off the fucking moon. Like this is him. Why you have a problem with it? Because he sh he posted the picture. It's like they set him up. Like, oh, he got comfortable and shit. He was hiding. He was hiding the kid for a while. He hid the kid and the baby mama for a while. But then, you know, another rapper. Um, what's his name? 
exposed him. The other rapper that exposed him. Pusha T. So now he's embraced his his white side, man. I mean, I, I just don't. It's Jewish. He's Jewish. Yeah, he's he's half Jewish. So he's he embraced his Jewish side. Um, I just don't get it, man. Y'all, some people are crazy, man. I'm gonna drop the link. But but look at him, man. Why are they so? Why are they so mad? Aubrey is the leader on set. He's really humble. He's really sweet. Completely charming. Just smooth. He's a total ladies man. The girls just eat him up. He's very wise. He's very funny. He's my boy. I'm Aubrey Graham, and this is my life. Unscripted. What's up, everybody? You're chilling with me, Aubrey Graham. You guys want to go for a ride? We can go for a ride. This is my baby, I guess. Um, it's a 2004 Acura TSX. It's a nice first car for like a teenager, I guess, as opposed to a Mercedes or BMW. I think that's pretentious, personally. But hey, if you have the money to buy it, then feel free. Enough about the car. Let's go inside. <laughs> Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Me and my grandma have a little thing where my mom doesn't let her eat chocolate. But uh, my, my grandma slides me a little extra cheddar on the side, and uh, <laughs> I make sure she gets her, her daily chocolate dose. That's so. my grandson. <laughs> um, this is the living room, and it's nice and elegant, and I kind of leave this alone. It's too 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 much for me. This is our dining room, and uh, here's my mother making notes as usual on probably some... He's never been... He's never played anything other than himself. He's never been like, oh, I'm this blackity black, blackity black, I'm from the projects. He's never done that. Now, when as he became a rapper, he kind of like... Of course, he's not going to put all this stuff up front as a rapper because you niggas don't want to see, see this shit. You don't want to see nobody's real life. Niggas don't want to see nobody's real life. They want a fake illusion. They want to, they want you to, they want to think you killed 20 niggas and you the baddest motherfucker in your block. This guy's authentic. I, I I think this guy's getting a bad rap. I pro, I honestly do, man. Black people attacking him like they just found out that he was biracial. Okay, closing my to do list. Yeah, exactly. Through here, this is our wonderful fridge with stock because you know there were people over today, so we had to get some food. Now we're gonna check out my space. This is my space. This is where I live. Through here, this is my living room. I like a chilling vibe. That's my favorite thing about this this basement. I, I made this table. Got Barry White, Frank Sinatra, Notorious B.I.G. Everybody around this table has basically inspired me to get into music, particularly Pharrell. He's like one of my idols. So this is where I sit and sometimes write. And actually, we missed a very important thing. I write songs, and that's what I like. I, I do music. These are full from front to back of just songs, pages and pages of lyrics and ideas. Yeah, look at him, man. He 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 studied the greats, man. He um he honed his craft, man. He took it seriously, man. It's something that I'll probably never use, but I mean, because they're old, I just like to keep them around for. Nostalgia purposes. This is my dad. And, uh, His dad is the is the brother of the great black R and B singer Larry Graham. So he's led Drake is Larry Graham's nephew. If you know the song "One in a Million, One in a Million, Chance of a Lifetime." And I just just as damn that, just 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 damn me singing that, and then it'll come up. And this is my dad, and uh, him and my uncle worked with Al Green. That's basically why I do it. I mean, he taught me everything. So thank you, Dad. I don't get to see you that often, but you know, my love is always with you. And his dad lives in Memphis. 
And then through here, this is the this is my comfort area. As you can see, I recently and look, he's not hiding. He's not like, man, I'm from the trenches, man. This dude has like a mansion. This guy grew up in like a fucking. It may not be a mansion, but it's a fucking spacious. Like he got fucking space, man. He's not like, man, you know what I'm saying, man. It's been rough, man. You know what I'm saying, like. He ain't trying to like make it seem like he was came out the mud or he from the bottom. Whatever the fuck. Recently did laundry. This is actually a very nice couch. And in here I have more stuff. Some sweaters and t-shirts. Some blazers, jackets. And the shoes are a big thing. I got them from, from bottom to top. You know, at the end of the day, that's material possessions. That's not, that's not what I'm about. This is what I'm about. I'm a music fanatic, so. so I got some fads from Marvin Gaye, Kanye West, Big L, Jay-Z, all the Jay-Z albums. Um, I don't know. We could go on for days. I got the studio mic set to my height so I can just flow a little if need be. I've been a mess since every girl I left went and got a new man, but I'm the new version of Fresh Prince, and the band's got bumped for real. I switch wifey. He wasn't lying about that. <laughs> He definitely was the new version of Fresh Prince. That motherfucker is an international superstar. Every season like Uncle Phil. And then the chorus drops. So that was a little verse I wrote. A little something. A little something, 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 something. Yeah, I got some stuff around here. I got Andrea's first single. Yeah, this CD, which is pretty good. It's Chaos. Toronto artist. Supports the Toronto artist. And, um... I, I got this the other night. It's Ali. It's one of my best friends on Radio Free Roscoe, which is a great show, by the way. Feel free to tune in. This is one of the nicest letters I've ever received from anybody. He feels that I can complete the uh, trifecta of the greatest African-American actors of all time, Lord Sidney Poitier, Denzel Washington. And he says the third edition would be Aubrey Graham. Jason, I thank you, man, on the real. I never got a chance for... But you're not African-American. You're African-Canadian on to you i hope you're watching this thank you so much i appreciate it with all my heart and uh just know that i keep it close and um i i will i will keep this with me for the rest of my life no matter where i go you're the one that said it so if it happens it happens man you called it and this is my room this is where i live this is the life i'm living right now We always thought that there was something very different. Hey, man, I can't, I can't say he's faking a great value Houston accent, man. He hangs out with Jay Prince in Houston. I hung out when I when when I hung out with some Jamaicans, man. I hung out with some Jamaicans back in like the early two thousands, man. You know, selling weed and shit and all this other shit. And I, you know, I've gotten into that in the past before, but you know. When you around them, you start speaking that shit. I be start speaking like, man, pure fuckery, man, and all that. You like, yes, dread, yes, yes, yes. Now I, uh, I be, I, I started talking like them and shit, being around them. Print about this kid. When we had a piano at home, and I would come home with my nursery rhymes, Aubrey, at three years old, would take the lyrics. Wagwan, wagwan. Wagwan. Well, very different about this kid. When we had a piano at home and I would come home with my nursery rhymes, Aubrey at three years old would take the lyrics and he would change them. I realized that other kids just didn't do that. As he said, he had a gift from the time he came out the womb. Being an only child, I always had him in a lot of activities, whether it was day camp or whether it was group activities, hockey, a lot of things where you'd have to learn to be a team player. I was in this program called YPT, which is Young People's Theater, but it was really just a bunch of young kids acting really hyper, and then like we'd throw on masks and call it a play, whatever. I guess the parents thought it was cool. When Audrey was um, about five years old, I took him to this agent uh, and she really liked Darby, so he did print work 
and which his catalogs and he did a couple of who think he would have been he would have came up i'm not saying he could have couldn't have been a rapper but who thinks he would have came out as as well rounded and as polished of a individual if he was raised by a sister and don't tell me what you think i want to hear i just want to know who thinks if 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 he was raised by a sister he would have came out the same way man or he'd even be alive <laughs> as a rapper and shit don't tell me what you think i want to hear either commercials oh, let's get to the main event man the main event man um let's get to the main event man The natives are getting restless, man. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. Shout out to Drake, man. I would love to work with Drake. Hey, Drake, if you're hearing this, man, I got a song for you, man. I had a song I wrote, man. It probably you you would definitely make it a hit. Drake would make all my songs hits. If, I, <laughs> if Drake sang any of my songs, they would all be fucking Billboard top Billboard hits, man. Um, that's for sure, man. That for sure, for sure. 